ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues. Uh, the relationship between music and identity has been the subject of several scholarly studies. My paper does not aim to either summarize or further these. Instead, I would like to provide an insight into the life of the choir movement in the Carpathian Basin outside of the Hungary that is in the areas of Hungary's neighboring countries populated by Hungarians. The choir movements in these areas belong to Hungarian ethnic minority, use the Hungarian language, and have a Hungarian identity. I will talk about the difficulties and problems as well as the joys and achievements of the little of the choir movements, of the life of the choir movements. The geographical location of the ethnic groups dealt with here and the majority of the problems following from this might be under more understandable in the light of a brief his historical review and with some map illustration. Therefore, let me take such a short bypass. Due to the Trianon peace, Hungary lost over two-thirds of its pre-war area and its population shrank to 7.6 million, only 36% of the pre-war kingdom's population of 20.9 million. These areas became parts of the neighboring countries, Czechoslovakia, Romania, later Yugoslavia, and Austria. In 1938, under the terms of the first and second Vienna discussion, the country got back the bigger part of its lost territories, but after the Second World War, Hungary being one of the defeated states, the Trianon borders <coughs> came into effect again and have stayed the way since. Let me take a personal bypass. My birthplace, Vaga, Váhovce, I still lived in this village, is located on the Slovak-Hungarian language border. I may say that owing to the frequent border alterations, the residents of, the village, of this village, born before 1920 and dying after 1993, had been citizens of five different states without ever leaving their birthplace. The Hungarian uh, communities annexed to foreign, sta foreign states carried on living and cultivating their own culture in their Hungarian mother tongue whenever they could. Music and, and singing was part of their everyday life and unlike today's people living in modern culture, they were not only passive receivers, but also active doers on the singing, singing dancing, and other tradition preserving activities. The choir movement played a very important role in these communities, in which people were kept together not only by their love of singing, but their common problems, national togetherness, the love of their mother tongue, the possibility of organized cultivation of their ancient traditions, and their effort to preserve their faith and Hungarian nationality, national identity. This was also reflected in the choice of the repertoire of the choirs. What was forbidden to express in words they sang even it was sometimes reduced by the state censorship. For example, in Slovakia, the final chords from Kodai's Jelige uh, epigraph, which goes with lyrics, Dara Magyar Nép, Sing Hungarian People, had to be modified to Dara Sabad Nép, Sing Free People, for many years. I am saying this in the past tense, but the uh, situation today is not much better, 
and not because of the national repression, repression. We have the same problems as other choirs, for example, the choirs of the majority nation. The new generation is in short supply. Some of our members with subsistence problem drop out, others attendance of the rehearsal is irregular. We constantly try to enhance or at least keep the artistic level of the choirs, but there are not many good professionals and there is no systematic and regular college education for choir conductors. Music education at primary school has been pushed to the periphery more than before. There are very few schools or youth choirs, but still we have some very nice achievements to be proud of. Here and after, I would like to give a brief account on these. In order to collect material for this paper, I compiled uh, a, th a 23 items questionnaire about this topic which I sent in January to several conductors colleagues in Transylvania, Romania, Subcarpathia in the Ukraine and Vojvodina in Serbia, as well as to cultural institution in these regions. Due to lack of time, I will not go into details about the questionnaires, questions now. The situation uh, outlined below is the summar summary on the returned answers and the date from some other sources. First and foremost, I was interested in whether there are any kind of official records as to how many Hungarians, Hungarian choir are working in the above mentioned Hungarian inhabited regions. It turned out that there are no official records on this, which is understandable to some extent, as this number is constantly ch changing by new choirs being formed and others ceases, uh, ceasing to exist, exist. Therefore, the date receiving from the feedback are rather approximate. An umbrella institution, or rather an association uniting the uh, Hungarian choir movement, only exists in Slovakia and Transylvania. In Slovakia, the Association of Hungarian uh, Friends of Music in Slovakia, Civic and Culture, Culture Associ uh, Society of Hungarian Slovakia, Cemadok, and in Transylvania, Romanian Hungarian Singing Organization and Shepard Janos International Choir Association. The Romanian-Hungarian singing, singing organization now includes over 100 number choirs on a basis of voluntary registration, which allows uh, us to conclude that the total number of choirs must be well over 120. It may be interesting to compare some date about certain specific towns. In Slovakia, Komárom, Komárno, the border town, boasts the largest number of Hungarian choirs, altogether 11. In Transylvania, Nagyvárad, again, a city nearest the Hungarian border, altogether uh, 21 choirs, and the other town, Uh, Kolozsvár, 18 school choir, besides Hungarian choirs, uh, choirs also exist in the major churches. The repertoire of the choirs are varied and largely depend on the professional knowledge of the, their conductors. However, it is characteristic of all of, uh, of, all of them to most likely sing in Hungarian. What is more, they consider this to be their task, their consciously undertaken missions, and 
nurturing the Hungarian culture, mother tongue, and especially our musical mother tongue, is the precondition of preserving our schools, churches, and our whole existence. Music is a retaining force in a medium where assimilation has greatly accelerated. My colleague Tünde Kálai Miklós in Kolozsvár summarized this situation succinctly as follows. Where a choir movement exists, the sense of identity is very goal-oriented and a lot of attention is paid to pre preservation of Hungarian culture. Where the sense of goals is missing, there is really no choir movement. Among the Hungarian language repertoire pieces of the choirs, the works of Kodai and Bardos are almost always there. Besides them, the works of Jardányi, Karai, Halmos, Sokolai, Tamás Daróci Bardos, Sándor Berkesi, Miklós Kocsár and Péter Tóth are repeatedly sung at the choir concerts, as well as the works of Hungarian composers of the given countries. These composers are Albert Markos, Janusz Jagamas and Péter Vermesi in Transylvania, Erdő Lányi in Vojvodina, and Jenő Szijjártó in Slovakia. However, the consciously undertaken Hungarian sense of identity does not mean a social isolation within the majority countries. Several choirs regularly take part in choirs meeting, in choir meeting and competitions organized by the majority nation, and they often achieve outstanding results. Please, uh, please let me list a few examples. The latest achievement is a uh, Alla Breve Mix Choir from Seke Udvarhely, who won the Liviu Borland Grand Prix in the International Choir Festival in Romania. Introduction and performance opportunities for Hungarian choirs is offered at the events organized by the Minority Cultural and educational institution, as well as at town or national choir festival, uniting the national minority choir movement of the whole region. Now I list, uh, I uh, will list some of these choir festivals. Subcarpathia. It is the final mass uh, choir from this festival. In Vojvodina. This is a program of the, uh, the latest festival a uh, meeting of Hungarian choirs in Vojvodina. It might be interesting. Ah, Jaj, bocsánat. Let me uh, let us now listen to a short part of the closing piece of last year's festival. Oh, 
Ay, ni chora. Eszterházi Pál Pangelingva. Choir festival organized by Townsend Voivodina. And Trans Transylvania. Due to the large geographical distance, there is no countrywide festival uniting the whole Hungarian choir movement in Transylvania, but smaller regional choir festivals are held regularly. The following choir meetings are held annually. There is a two posters uh, from Meetings of Children's Choir, singing Youth in Spirit of Zoltan Kodai. Now is the latest on the left side. And Southern Slovakia. Two national choir festivals and <coughs> qualifying competitions with a constant location held every two years. Csengő Énekszó in Ésekújvár and the Kodai Days in Galanta. Some of choirs participating of this festival it is, it was, it is the, oh, it was uh, uh, last year, not this year, 213. And the girls' choir. and the final mass choir conducted by Shapson Ferenc from the Kodai days.
town and region or choir festival in southern Slovakia. The latest festival is a theory uh, in the whole of Slovakia, not just in the Hungarian choir movement. Therefore, I would like to talk about it in some more detail. The activists of this small village of about 1,000 souls situated in central Slovakia near the Hungarian border, along, along with the local choir called Seder Fabian Song Association of Chab, have organized the Valley of Dance Contemporary Choir Festival already five times. Their aim is not to make contemporary choir music popular not only with choir members, but also with the audience. Three choirs are invited uh, to the festival and all of them, including the local choir, give at least one or two world premieres. So every year at this festival, the audience crowded in, into the Church of Chab can listen to contemporary piece never performed before. The works are eventually by a professional committee as well as the audience are uh, evaluated by a professional committee as well as the audience. So two, two works by two composers win prize at every festival. Thus the organizers of the festival wants to inspire composers to write new piece and the organizers of the competi competitions at the Chengu Inexo and Kodai days wants to empire Hungarian choirs in Slovakia to sing contemporary works by awarding them a prize for performing the best contemporary piece. The sheet music material of the pieces performed as, as world premiere in the first five years of the festival was published in 2012 as a choir collection with an audio CD in order to pre promote the piece and to, the, and to help the work of choir conductors. And the two other uh, choir sheet collection from South Slovakia. Now I would like to mention and briefly summarize a few other important topics. Conduct training. Professional training in the Hungarian mother tongue would be really important for the minority choir movement in all the Hungarian inhabited regions. Only Transylvania can boast college level musical education degree courses. University musical education and choir conductor training in the Hungarian language is provided in three cities, Marosvásárhely, Kolozsvár and Nagyvárad. The choir conductors teachers of Partium Christian University in Nagyvárad help the work of young conductors even after graduation. Every year since 2010, they have organized a choir meeting called Dalforgash Song Rotation, where formed music students introduce their own choirs, hold workshops and conduct the trainings and give concerts. There is no Hungarian language conductor training in Subkarpatia and Vojvodina. Every year since 2007 at the Jokai Mor Summer University in Komarno, organized by the Association of Hungarian Teachers in Slovakia, we have held a five-day choir, uh, choir, uh, choir conductor training at the closing concert of which uh, 18, 20 students conduct a piece each. What can also be considered to be choir conducting training uh, is the workshop session held at the three-day rehearsal of the Vaslajos Choir of Hungarian Teachers in Slovakia, as well as the work done generally by their choir, by this choir. 
The membership of the choir founded in 1964 comes from the whole Hungarian inhabited part of southern Slovakia. Therefore, it is no exaggeration to say that the 50 years, 50 year past and slightly over 50 membership of the choir represents the whole of Hungarian minority in Slovakia. Many of the members are music teachers or conductors who lead children's or adult choirs in their towns and villages so they can use in their work what they learn at the choir rehearsals. Every year we published a CD on a different topic, some of which can be used as teaching material, material for music education in elementary schools. The choir meets once a month for a rehearsal from a Friday afternoon to Sunday noon, which often includes a concert at various locations. It is a piece of good news worth mentioning about the choir that the Vaslajos Choir of Hungarian teachers in Slovakia is having a statue made of Lajos Vas in Komárno, which will be uh, unveiled on the day of the choir's fifth anniversary Golden Jubilee concert on the, uh, on the 20th of September 2014. A new generation. As for the new generation of choir members, we are often pessimistic as children are not very interested in choir music. However, as a result of the work of young and enthusiastic music teachers committed to choir music, there are nice achievements in this area. I would like to tell you about some of these. Southern Slovakia, in Gimes, in the Zobor region, the choir of the Hungarian language elementary school, only um, membering a few members, but uh, uh, members has doubled in size in this academ academic year, thanks to the devout work of conductor Imre Varga and to their great achievement, a golden level award at the Chengu Inexo Festival. Vojvodina. Rec recognize the importance of attracting new generation, the Juventus Choir in Temerin, conductor Zsuzsanna Cserniak, organized so-called baby rocking ringato program uh, for children aged birth to four years, as well as music and games programs for age five to 12, thus ensuring Continu continuity in music education. Owing to the great interest, they have founded the Little Ones Choir, which works along Juventus Choir. Transylvania. Zoltán Kodály Children's Choir of Marosék. On their homepage, the introduction of the choir starts with the following words. In September 2004, two volunteer musical educators and choir conductors moved to the land of Sekes in order to help children and through them families to return their national identity with their own device by spreading the culture of music. Let us see what the two musician teachers, Eva Nagy and Gabriela Zako, have achieved. The result speaks for itself. The children's choir not only sings Kodai Stanz Nota wonderfully, but they also dance to the music to be more authentic.
Dear colleagues, please let me take the opportunity to, thanks, to thank you on behalf of all the Hungarian choir outside the borders of Hungary for all the help that we have given, that we have been given from the mother country, as well as to thank my informants for the valuable information and comments they have contributed my survey. In conclusion, I would like to emphasize again the importance of the mother tongue, the spoken and the sung word, and its role played in our sense of identity. In my introduction, I quoted András Sütő, the Transylvanian Hungarian writer, and now I would like to end my talk with a few lines from a poem entitled Bistato, Encouragement, by a Slovak Hungarian poet, László Konchol. The poem was set to music by Lajos Vas in 1983 and dedicated to the, ten, to the then 120-year-old workers' choir of Rožnyo, Rožnyava. Let us listen to a part of the work performed by the Vashlajos Choir of Hungarian teachers in Slovakia. And with this piece, I would like to thank you for your attention. Thank you.